this. When did you have this clip? You proof it? Yeah, I kind of proofread a little bit of it. Well, go on and see. Um, all right. With the scriptures to show that they go off in the scriptures. I think here they go off. Come they here, go yep. Here. Uh, this is uh, on page two. A prophesied prince. Back around AD 90, the Apostle John recorded an amazing prophecy, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, and I heard the number of them. Revelation 9 16. That means an army of 200 million men. They went off right there. Now, as you read on, they're going to they're gonna match that scripture up with Joel 2. Matter of fact, see if you can find it. I don't, I don't know if it's here or here, but it's kind of like in the beginning. They kind of mention a series of scriptures. It might be on the next. Okay, good. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, now, I'm going to jump to the, uh, page 3 under God's army. Details about this army are revealed in passages such as Revelation 9, 13 to 21, Revelation 16, Daniel 11, Jeremiah 50, and, and Joel 2. Off on Daniel 11, they, 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 don't know, they don't understand these scriptures, man. Okay? Uh, and Joel 2. In verse 11 of Joel 2, this 200 million man Asian force is actually called God's army. God is the one. Oh, was that quoted at her? Uh, uh, Joel 2 and 11. Okay, you know what? Let's go to Joel. Let's go to Joel 2. And we can start at 11. Joel chapter 2, verse 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? So they're saying that the Lord's army is the giant of Moabites. That's the Most High's army. It's not talking about men. It's talking about missiles. Because let's go, let's jump up. I don't know if we got to go all the way to the first verse or... Um, I can, I can jump around. All right, let's jump around. Uh, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound... Yeah, say it one. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Now, what does what is, what is that talk? This is the Lord talking to Joel through a vision and telling Joel to go out among Israel and sound the alarm, meaning you become that trumpet. You blow that trumpet, which is your mouth warning the people of danger, of something to come. So we, just as Joel did back then, we're doing the same thing now. And we don't, you don't see us with trumpets in our mouth blowing trumpets. You see us, we are the, the mouths that we're using to speak out of, those are the trumpets, man. And we're blowing a certain sound to make sure that people wake up, whether war is coming, whether danger is coming, whatever's coming. You had drum, trumpets that call the people like the Passover. Um, it, it, there's a part of the prayer is uh, Barakatha Yahweh, um, how uh Right, to call the people. Right, to call Ha'im, the people. Okay? So there was a certain sign that you played with the ram's horn that you knew was going to be a high holy day. There was another sign that you played with the ram's horn or the trumpets to show you that the enemy is coming and get be prepared to go to battle against the enemy. There was another sound to flee. Retreat, reflee. So when we when we teach on the street in the studio, we're blowing the trumpet. And the sound that we're blowing is that danger is coming. That the Lord is coming back. To wake up, to get your your act together. Because if you don't get your act together and there's people that are dead. They're going to go to the guy that blow the trumpet. Did this guy blow the trumpet? Yeah. If he didn't blow the, blow the trumpet, they could have put this guy to death. They could have killed him. So we're the trumpet blowers now. We're the, we're the men on the watchtower, man. So when we see certain things, you blow a, 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 a trumpet to warn the people, man. Number one, you tell them that they're Israelites. Number two, uh, Esau are the Edomites, which is the, so, which is the devil. Number three, America's Babylon, all right? Uh, 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 Babylon is getting ready to be destroyed. All right? And we're getting ready to be saved. So if you don't know that you're an Israelite, then consider the fact that you're an Israelite and, and do what you got to do as an Israelite supposed to do. 
And then you got a lot of these guys out there going back to the black conscious movement because they're completely lost. They're lost, all of them. The Moors, the Chemite, the Chemetic groups, uh, the Islamic groups, every last one of them are lost. And then you got Israelite groups out there that you got the average person watching one Israelite and watching another Israelite group, and they think we're all the same. If you were deep, you would know the difference, man. That's why we get on all those guys. Go ahead. Jeremiah 419. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Yeah, so we blow. We're the only ones. We're really the only Israelite group that's blowing the sound of the trumpet. Another trumpet that we, uh, another tune that we're playing is uh, the mark of the beast. Is getting ready. Get the article, brother. Get that article. Because there's going to come a time where a lot of you guys, you're going to wake up to the fact that your so-called leaders are not real. They're not, they're not men of the Lord. A perfect example is Johanna. Johanna's being, he's being manifested, man, right before your eyes. Nate is about ready to be manifested, man, right before your eyes. Because more and more, there's more, there's more uh, information on this microchip technology and the, and the tattooing or the, uh, the uh, implanting in your skin. Okay. So when it comes down to the wire, and they really it's mandated, you can't you can't use your bank account card, your debit card, your credit card, you can't get on a bus, a train, you can't get no goddamn gas, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't go on a plane unless you have this mark. Then you're gonna have Israelites that gonna comply with it, and they're gonna justify, well, wait a minute, I gotta go, I gotta go over there, I gotta do the work of the Lord. You're gonna get the chip. To call yourself going someplace else on a plane to do the work of the Lord, but you got a chip in your ass. You guys are gonna wake up, man, and you're gonna get hey, you're gonna get shook up too. Cause right now you can talk all the shit that you want, and ain't nothing gonna happen. You go in the refrigerator, eat something, drink some water, whatever you got to do. Go to the movies, get with your girl, go 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 play some fucking hoops and shit. You know, when it, when it starts getting warm, a lot of you guys are supposed to be at camps. You're going to be out there barbecuing, man. Yeah. And then there's going to come a time where that chip comes, and a lot of you going you're going to think about GMS and what we've been saying. All right? I did a, we did a, a, a documentary called, uh, what is it, Mark? What was the name of it? The Mark, the Mark of the Beast. The Mark of the Beast is a chip on uh, GMS uh, DocuTube. And that that's a six part. I think it was six parts, right? There's a six six parts to it. It's about an hour, maybe a little bit, about an hour and twenty minutes long, I would say. And it goes thoroughly into the mark of the beast. It goes thoroughly into the mark of the beast. And a lot of you guys won't see it. Cause, well, that's GMS. I ain't watching that bullshit. So you're gonna get stuck out there. This is um, top news. This is dated January 22nd, 2014. It says all European newborn babies will be microchipped. But anyway, I would like to uh, read something from the, one of the books that we uh, put out. Uh, the Mark of the Beast is the chip. And um, just to show you that you have to go into the Greek, the Hebrew, and into the Greek to get a further understanding. Page 35 of this book, it says, uh, and it says this, the meaning and connotation of the Hebrew and Greek words for Mark is imperative for Israel to know and understand, know and understand, in order to different, differentiate between the Mark found in Leviticus uh, 19.28, Ezekiel 9 and 4, Romans 16 and 17, and Revelation, again, we're reading this again, Revelation 13 and 16, as well as 
as well as be able to identify and recognize the RFID chip 